Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Shall we begin? Aloha Pile 1. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a really fun pick a card reading for what good karma is manifesting in your life. Uh, sometimes when we talk about karma, people instantly think of bad karma or ancestral wounds. But remember, our ancestors and our past lives, we also racked up good karma. We also racked up gifts and blessings that our ancestors would like to give us. And so um, we're going to look at good karma. This whole month of August, I'm going to focus on really empowering messages, which I try to do anyway on the channel, but I just feel like we're all coming out of a fog of sorts. And so it's time to get that good karma. Um, I first and foremost, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. Thank you for those who have donated and tipped and thank you for those who, um, comment. I'm really enjoying you guys. I love engaging with you. YouTube loves it. So let's keep, um, uh, growing this community together. I, I really enjoy it and feel free to chat amongst yourselves as well in the comments. Cause that's uh, fun too. All right. Um, also I do have, um, private readings available. Um, I've just updated my website. So that is www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com as well as um, I do have some options available for um, private readings in my Etsy shop as well. So all those links will be in the description box below so you can decide which avenue works best for you. I do want to say that there are scammers about on a YouTube targeting tarot readers. Um, Please know that I will never solicit you for a reading. I've just told you how to get them. You're more than welcome. I will be my pleasure to read for you, um, but I'll never target you. I'm not on any of the social media platforms as of now, other than YouTube. So I'm not on um, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, TikTok, all of the things. I'm, I'm not on there. So if anyone posing as me asks you for a reading of her money, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? And thirdly, I do a uh, free drawing every month for a 30 minute session with me personally. I'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter that drawing as some people are here just for the messages and not um, for the contest. OK, so let's get to it. What um, good karma's coming in for pile one. You chose new opportunities. It's a number five that has to do with change. Um, radical transformation it says declutter your life it says glimpse a magical doorway this is also giving me the uh, feeling of the rune of um, the gateway okay so this is saying that you have come through a time that you've learned the lessons that you need to learn uh, it's time to declutter your energy field your life your home whatever it may be, so that you can walk through this gateway for the new opportunities. So when you go through the gateway, you stand at the door and you do a life review. And what you do is you look at all the things that you've been through uh, recently and all the way back your past and all of it, and you be grateful for it. And you retrieve the positive learnings and your unconscious mind does know where to put the positive learnings in your brain so this does not have to be a logical process okay um but before you step through that gateway you retain all of those positive learnings so that you can move on to the new opportunities for many of you i feel like there's good karma around work coming in and relationships and health like all areas of your life are being upgraded is what spirit's saying because you're choosing to move forward now um the unicorns wanted to give this message unicorns are 12th dimensional beings okay so very high dimensional beings coming in to help you change and bring in this new uh, energy okay beautiful all right what good karma is coming in 
for pile one. That's way too many. All right, what good karma is coming in for pile one? We're going to look at the Spirit Song Tarot for this. Okay. And one more, they said. I love this. Yeah, it's like what I feel like is that you guys have been through quite a bit of rockier energy over the last few years. And, um, you know, if you're watching it at the time that it's come out, we've been a few years into the COVID situation. Um, so as a collective, we've all been changing, growing, learning, etc. Um, but you guys have... Uh, you're long overdue is what spirit's saying for some good karma to come in so we have nine of feathers which is perspective and self-empowerment again that goes with this gateway here and we've got the porcupine there i feel like you have learned your boundaries in some way you're moving on to the new uh, opportunities you're getting a whole new perspective and right here as you're watching this you know, you're going to be in a position of where you're really starting to be self-empowered, that the validation does not come from um, anyone else, that you're getting your validation from the inside out. And because you have made this shift and change, you have this beautiful um, new energy and opportunities coming in. Uh, we have six of feathers, which is the six of... Uh, uh, swords okay so it's transition and insight now dragonfly brings you uh through the illusion okay they bring you to the other side to the spiritual side so one of the good karmas coming in is you're going through uh you're seeing through the veil through the illusion in a situation or a relationship some of you may have just ended a relationship and you're moving on or there's a situation in the family or what have you but you've gotten the clarity on it. You've gotten the insight on it. And now you're ready for the transition. That being said, with this group, part of the new, the good karma coming in, uh, the dragonfly brings you into your spiritual power. Remember, you were learning boundaries here. You got the perspective. You got the insight. So now the transition is about to happen. Excuse me. And you're about to be moving into... Um, stronger spiritual gifts okay uh but some of you may be physically moving they're saying there is um an opportunity for you like they're showing me you taking this opportunity so this could be at work uh this could be a spiritual pilgrimage somewhere that you've been wanting to go for a while but it feels like you're taking that transition because they're showing me some this is of course i'm reading for thousands of people um, so take it how it resonates, but they're showing me some specifically studying abroad or uh, living elsewhere and learning from because they showed me my journey. So when I was asked to move to Hawaii, I was in service to a sacred space and I got to learn from a Hawaiian kahuna who happens to be my uncle. Now, I, I, I didn't realize that we were related <laughs> when we first um, encountered one another, you know, so there's been um, this transition okay they're showing me you're having a similar transition you're waking up to what's real in the world what really matters and that transition's opening for you some of you may be physically moving because i'm seeing many of you moving um dragonflies are air and water beings and so um i'm seeing that um you guys may be moving somewhere like closer to water to lakes oceans etc if you don't already live there but there's something about clean air and being near the water that's really healthy for you this is a new opportunity that's opening it feels like a dream opportunity okay we have seven of acorns which has determination and stamina i feel like for many of you you've been physically fatigued from all of this change that you've been doing you guys have been upgrading spiritually but you've also been making a lot of changes in your physical life before this good karma has kicked in and I feel like you've just been exhausted. <laughs> um, I'm getting the feeling like it's like I'm exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally, all of it because you really have 
what they're saying is that you've succeeded over a, a particular obstacle or challenge in your life and because you've succeeded you're now going to have your determination and your stamina return you're going to be able this is the badger okay the honey badger gets what the heck it wants all right and so you've just moved into self-empowerment and determination those are huge um valuable qualities that are returning to you that is part of your good karma okay i feel like for a little bit you may have felt disappointed or defeated in a situation or a relationship and now spirits giving you your self-empowerment back they're giving you the determination to move forward we have queen of feathers which is perception and truth they're showing me twofold with this part of your good karma again is that you are moving into a higher spiritual realm the bat takes us into the spiritual world as well okay it's like our winged creatures do a lot for us in spirit so dragonfly um, bat crow and raven all of those things teach us uh, spiritual lessons and take us in the bat is blind but uses um sonar okay to an an, an echo um location in order to fly all right so many of you your perception and truth you may be like me which i'm i'm my main like strongest channel inside is clear audience and clear cognizance so inner knowing and inner hearing sometimes it's outer okay um but this is increasing in you so your psychic perceptions are increasing but you um this gift may come through sound okay so some of you could be sound healers. Some of you could be um, your good karma is being able to hear your ancestors from the inside out, right? Um, but you're going to have the gift of perception and truth. So your intuition is increasing. This is your good karma because you have come through your spiritual lesson. We have strength. And this is courage and endurance, okay? These opportunities that are coming in for you may require some courage on your part, okay? Because I feel like what Spirit's saying, they're again showing me my um, original move to Hawaii. And when I, it was in my five-year plan, but I didn't really believe it because I was still in this lack consciousness and I knew that I needed to be invited and I wanted to be invited by a Hawaiian specifically. I didn't know how that was going to happen. I just felt it in my body that that was appropriate or right or Pono, right? And it happened that way in three and a half years rather than five, okay? So I did get my goal in my time frame, but it took a lot of courage. I was scared because I sold everything that I had. I had to give up my cats. You know, there's things that were very near and dear to me that in order to choose my new life and my new opportunity, okay, I had to um, move past the fear. Because sometimes we get used to being in that down energy or in that sort of lower case energy. And when the new presents itself, it does take some strength and some courage to move forward and some endurance because you're quite literally integrating a whole new system of energy. Because if you'd been doing survival program and then all of a sudden you have a windfall of money, you got to learn what to do with that money. What is somebody who's thriving and who is wealthy? What do they do with it? Uh, you know, I grew up poor. I'm just now learning um, to have money come in, right? And so uh, um, you got to learn what to do with it. <laughs> you got to learn how to hold that seed. And so this is showing that you do have the strength and the endurance and the perseverance and the courage to receive your blessings pile one you have given so much to everyone it's time for your opportunities and then we have a huge ace of crystals here as um as the closing uh, a tarot card and it's manifestation and prosperity okay this is the ace of diamonds or the ace of pentacles this is um a manifestation coming to fruition 
and prosperity so there's abundance all around you so you guys can expect to have your finances increase i do feel like um the ace of diamonds is the desire for love or money okay in the destiny cards and so uh you may have new love coming in as well all right if if you're looking for that but all in all there is a move or movement okay this could be uh, energetic movement but I feel like for a good portion of you this is physical movement to um, uh, an, a new opportunity for something that you have been asking for for quite some time really really good energies you guys have done the work okay this is your time to thrive and you do have the determination you do have the stamina to hold the light okay you're self-empowered um, I'm loving this so much because you are coming into your own. And from this day forward, no longer will anyone penetrate your boundaries that doesn't need to be there. People are coming with love now, okay? Because you have come back into your personal strength and sovereignty. That's the good karma that's coming in for you, all right? Your whole world's about to change, pile one for the positive and you're gonna feel like what they're saying is you're gonna feel like you're waking up from a fog and you're gonna feel strong from the inside out where I feel like before it was like getting the validation from the outside in which we all do that at first but now it's from the inside out and you don't need someone else to validate you and you're gonna make your choices even if you're scared you're gonna make your choices and follow through on your new opportunities here because it leads to major abundance and a manifestation of one of your dreams coming to fruition okay and these just came out as your ending cards opportunity again spirit said I said what I said there is a crescent moon there so you may be moving or have this opportunity come in on a crescent moon okay um, but to get opportunity twice, Spirit's on it, on the synchronicities. These are two totally different decks. This one's the Sacred Destiny deck. And then the last one's Flow. Again, full moon here. So these um, moon cycles are going to be very important for you because we also have the bat that is um, ruled by the moon here in the night. So there may be, it's almost like what Spirit's saying is your life may change overnight okay so go with the flow of it you won't be expecting this i feel like there's been kind of a a call on the wind that you've given like it's time for me it's my turn to have something good please help right spirit universe like come on already and they're saying sure here's the opportunities you finally asked for it and you were congruent in the way that you asked and now these new opportunities are coming in so their suggestion is Go with the flow of the opportunities, all right? Um, pay attention to uh, your inner self, your inner voice, and go with the flow here because you are absolutely um, moving into abundance and prosperity. And so it's declutter your life, okay? Anyone dragging you down or holding your energy, just uh, be really focused on your new opportunity and go with that flow all right that's what i have for you thank you guys so much for those who would like to enter the drawing remember it's free to enter free to win so here's how you do it you be a subscriber if you're not already so subscribe hit that bell button like and share this video and then in the comment section below write i am going with the flow of my abundance i am going with the flow of my abundance and that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. I will do that on video on the first of the month and announce the winner and hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha. Aloha pile two. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a really fun pick a card message of what good karma is manifesting in your life right now. Um, often we can look or think of karma as only bad karma um, but the thing is is it's both sides and we're gonna look at the good karma I am uh, always like to do empowering messages but especially in the month of August 
I'm really wanting to empower my subscribers because the energy's here for it. So um, we're gonna look at things that are uplifting and that make our vibrations higher, right? Um, and this is also ancestral gifts that may be coming in for you as well. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. Thank you so much for your donations, tips, and those of you who comment. I love engaging with you. I love the community that we're building here together. So please um, continue. I'm really enjoying that. <laughs> so beautiful. I do have private readings available for those who have asked. I've just reinstated my website so you can um, look on there. That's www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com as well as there's a few options in my description box below on my Etsy channel. So whichever is more convenient for you. I do want to say those are the only ways uh, to get a private reading with me. I will never solicit you. It has come to my attention that there are scammers targeting tarot readers on um, on YouTube, okay? And they also have been using other social media platforms. I am not on any other social media platform other than YouTube, so I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, Telegram, all of the Twitter, all the things. I'm not on any of those. So anyone posing as me or using my picture, please know that it's a scam. Ignore them or report them, okay? And then uh, lastly, I do a contest every month. It's a actual drawing that's free to enter, free to win for a 30 minute session with me personally. I'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter that as some are just here for the messages. All right, let's get on into it. You guys chose the Cosmic Emerald. It's a number 31 yields down to a four, which is foundation. And this says create perfect health, access divine abundance. The good karma coming in for you is a shift in your health and in your abundance. You are moving into perfect health in all ways. The emerald, um, uh, the light ray of emerald green is a healing, uh, healing ray. Okay. So when you wear emerald or when you, um, think about your aura, being in emerald green it's actually a healing energy and it correlates with the heart chakra okay so for many of you you're having um, a positive heart chakra healing where maybe you have been dealing with a broken heart or some health issues have occurred or like myself I'm I'm uh, in the process of letting go of excess weight and I'm learning healthy eating patterns you know so um, some of you might be needing to put on some weight or, you know, to exercise and be in nature more. Any way that it goes, that's the positive karma that's coming in, is that you're going to have the opportunities to create that perfect health for yourself. So for some of you, if you've had like a exercise goal or something, I know for me, I'm not personally uh, self-motivated when it comes to exercising or, or any of that. Um, but I have had people show up in the last um, several months who are helping to motivate me. So you may have a trainer show up or you may have, um, you know, a, a relationship show up where the person is really in great health and they help you to to do that. OK, you're also accessing divine abundance. OK, divine abundance is everything from money to love to the universe is abundant with beautiful things. So whatever you would like your good karma to be, you have the opportunity right now with this cosmic emerald. And I like to mention that the uh, I chose the unicorns asked to come out here because they're very high vibrational beings. They exist in the 12th dimension. OK, and so they wanted to come and put their energy into your karmic blessing here. Um, and so for those of you who like to meditate, um, you know, this whole image, imagine yourself in this column of um, emerald light and allow the unicorns to kind of help to transmute your energy. Let's get some tarot and go a little deeper for pile two. Okay, we're going to use the Spirit Song Tarot, which has beautiful animals on it. What is 
the good karma coming in for pile two. All right, your team's acknowledging that you have been really patient, okay? And so they're going to be helping you. Part of the good karma is you're going to be getting a new perspective on why things may have been delayed in the past with a certain manifestation or outcome. And um, you're going to be coming into um, new energy here. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. So we have the hanged man, which is patience and perspective. All right. So this is where spirit's acknowledging that you have had the patience. But part of your good karma is you're going to get a new perspective on what you've been through recently. Okay. Because we have three of feathers down here, which is um, release and recovery. So some of this is three of swords. So some of you may, like I said earlier, have had a heartbreak or... Um, you have had some health things going on. Now, mind you, I'm not a doctor, so I cannot give any health advice. If you're feeling something, please do um, go to whatever practitioner is correct for you, okay? But we're just talking about energetically, there has been, um, there has been a need for recovery. And what Spirit's saying is that that's coming for you. You're releasing, that is your good karma, okay? What you've gone through and the experience that you had, even in the heartbreak, you're going to get the new perspective about it um, that yields a blessing karmically for you. You're going to see uh, maybe why things didn't work out the way that you wanted them to, um, or why things have been delayed, or what have you, but you're going to get the perspective that helps you to release and recover from that situation. Some of you may have had a physical injury that's going to be recovering at this time, and it's your good karma, and you're going to see the perspective of what lessons it taught you to be through that particular experience. I know like when I broke my foot, I got so many lessons on how, how to slow down and on how to be taken care of through with the universe and how not to be rushing just to get to work, you know. Um, so there was a lot of beautiful things that came out of that experience. Um, and so if we can look at the lesson, it becomes our good karma, even if we've made a misstep somewhere right because you're coming back into perfect health i also feel like too that with this perspective and we have the moth here on the three of swords the moth is a as a um a spiritual animal that goes towards the light okay and they show up sometimes when things need to die off um and in this case the bad karma is the thing that's dying off they want to give you another perspective they want you to um, access and create that perfect health and divine abundance. And how you do that is through the perspective shift. So I feel like um, you're going to be getting that perspective shift that is needed. And that's part of your good karma. We have four of acorns is comfort and community. Okay. Four of pentacles. So your good karma that's coming in uh, feels like you're about to have... Um, access like i said to that divine abundance okay so you're going to be comfortable financially where maybe that has been a struggle for you especially if you've had some health concerns right but you're going to come into comfort those of you who maybe have had some chronic pain or have been going through a spiritual awakening that's been associated with body ascension symptoms you're going to now come into comfort i see like your nervous system's calming down you're also going to be coming into community where i feel like this group you may have been isolated for a time. Sometimes our spiritual journey takes us down the path of isolation where we learn to that we're not alone ever, but we learn to be alone uh, with the spirit, okay? And now you're going to find your community um, if you don't already have one. And this is your good karma, all right? What they're saying is you're not alone anymore and you're going to find people that are comforting to you, that are joyful to be around. Especially for those of you who've had a breakup because I feel like, you know, sometimes when you've been with someone a long time or you have a merged group of friends, when you break up it's awkward because friends that have, like, you may have been on the end where 
all the friends went with the the ex or something um but that being said you're overcoming it we also have the shadow so your good karma is saying you have uh, balanced your shadow self remember if you watch me for any length of time i remind people that shadow and light are a bonded pair all right yin and yang you cannot have one without the other so you've learned to integrate the the shadow and this is self-empowerment and ambition so your good karma is you're about to come into self-empowerment you're no longer tricking yourself right you're no longer um, holding on to an illusion of the past that isn't true about you you are healed at this time um, and you're moving into that healing position you're moving into perfect health you're moving into you're going to feel really good about yourself i feel like you guys are going through a bit of a glow up and that is your good karma because you're no longer holding on to other people's uh energetic emotional or physical bs right and because you're choosing you and you have that ambition you're going to be self-empowered and you're going to have the wheel turned for you okay uh, this is the wheel of fortune so it's change and possibilities so as you're going through this glow up there is major change and possibilities for you i love octopus this spirit animal is so so intelligent um, they're amazing and it's amazing how they can change themselves uh, any way they'd like to camouflage into their environment right and so with this it feels like that's part of the possibilities for you is that you can go through this radical change and shapeshift into the perfect health, shapeshift into the divine abundance. For many of you, this feels like a physical and uh, financial glow up as well as there is relationship things here. We have the 10 of shells as your last tarot card, which is blessings and well-being okay so for most of you this is ten of cups all right so this is you finally feeling like you're part of a community finally feeling well finally feeling like you're coming out of a fog um, that your heart feels like it can love again okay and this is you um, receiving blessings of all different kinds the main thing for this group feels like you are getting your physical health into balance and you're also receiving in divine abundance now this could be financial and it also can be emotional all right it feels like you're finally going to feel like your heart is full again in a happy way and it's been some time um, since that's happened okay um, and they're acknowledging that but you're finally going to have this beautiful beautiful energy all right I'm really excited about this because it feels like you're finally waking up from a physical fog. And sometimes if we've had like toxic relationships, our physical bodies will start to kind of shut down um, after some time. So that's part of the thing to notice that when you're partnering with people or being friends with people, uh, does your energy drain or do you feel uplifted around them? and it feels like you're going to um, bring in a new community where you feel empowered and uplifted because we have this comfort and community and it's paired with the shadow of self-empowerment so the people that you're going to now have the good karma you're now going to have people in your life who are empowering to you who lift you up okay who feel good to be around and you feel good to be around them that are focused on solutions rather than what's going wrong you know rather than gossip rather than um a toxic type of energy and then you have the possibilities to manifest anything you'd like yeah and then the last card out is your sacred destiny card and it's adventures so for many of you because you're feeling better you're going to start to go on physical adventures and life's about to start to feel really fun for you so this could be travel where you maybe felt isolated before this could be travel or this community that you build that helps with your physical well-being maybe like they're showing me like a, a hiking group or a running group or you know um 
get out in nature swimming group or canoe club you know there's adventures for you to have and i feel like you're about to feel like quite youthful <laughs> again um it's almost like recapturing a lost childhood where many of you in this particular group had to be adults early in your life um before your time and now they are uh opening things up so that you can have adventures and you're going to feel like you kind of get back your youth regardless of your age i feel like this group all had to grow up really early and so now you're going to have those adventures and spirit that's your good karma and look at this beautiful tropical area if you don't already live in a tropical area you may be traveling to a tropical area or you may be moving to a tropical area but what they're showing me is like your dream time adventures because your health is coming in and you're being empowered you're going to be able to travel and do the things that you've been wanting to do because you've got financial blessings coming in as well like your all around well-being is increasing and that's making you very uh, feel very good and self-empowered and attractive to yourself and therefore you will attract the comfort in the community that you would like um, i love this i feel like you're gonna finally feel like you have energy again uh, when you may have felt so fatigued for such a long time because this group is such a uh, you know, I read for spiritual people and the, we often go through really challenging things for a good portion of our life as we're ascending uh, because we're here to lead others. Um, and now you're going to have that change and that possibility so that you can lead others in um, perfect health. Okay, so that's what I have for you. I'm so happy you guys like I just feel like the shift where you're finally going to feel good. Um, and it, it may have se seemed like forever, like you'd never love again, or you never feel good again, or you never go on an adventure again. And now it's like that isolation's lifting, the fog's lifting, and now you're moving into your new adventurous and abundant life. So, and you've earned it. This is your good karma. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much. For those of you who would like to enter the drawing, remember it's free to enter, free to win. Here's how you do it. You be a subscriber if you're not already, so subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video. And then in the comment below, write, I am receiving my abundant well-being. I am receiving my abundant well-being. And that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing, you claim this reading. I will do that drawing on the first of the month and announce the winner and hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha. Aloha Pile 3. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a really fun pick a card reading for what good karma is manifesting in your life. This is uh, the good kind. You know, when we think of karma, we often think of uh, negative connotations or bad things. But um, there's also we've also earned good karma through our lifetimes and even in this life. And um, I'm really focusing on empowering messages, especially in the month of August when the energy is here to uplift our self-identity and um, and our heart. OK, so we're going to look at very empowering messages this month, um, as I always try to do. But we're focused there. Right. Uh, before we get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. Thank you for those who have donated and tipped. And thank you for those who comment. I love engaging with you. I love the community that we're building here together. So please continue to comment. Um, I love it. YouTube loves it. So win win. <laughs> and then I do offer private readings, uh, personal readings for those who have asked. I have just reinstated my website. So that is www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. So you can book online there. Or I do have um, the options in my Etsy shop as well for private reading. So just use whichever one is appropriate for you. I would say um, I, it has come to my attention that there are scammers about um, targeting tarot readers on um, YouTube. I just want you guys to know I'm only on YouTube. I do not have any other social media 
I'm not on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, TikTok, none of that. Um, and so if someone posing as me or using my picture is offering you a reading, know that I will never solicit you. So it is a scam. So please either report them or ignore them, but do save your beautiful money. Um, it's a shame that we have to uh, even make these kind of announcements, but here we are. So, um, and then lastly, uh, I do a free entry drawing, uh, free to enter, free to win for a 30 minute session with me personally every month. Um, I will let you know at the end of the video how to enter the drawing as some are here just for the messages. Okay, announcements complete. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. We, you picked the unicorn portal. It says focus on your light. Or so focus your light, listen for a message. And then I also pulled a second unicorn, which is pure intention. It says find clarity and surrender your ego. So I feel like with this group, um, your good karma is highly spiritual, okay? It feels like you've been going through a bit of a, an ego death or learning how to surrender your ego in previous months leading up to this reading. And you're going to be finding clarity here, okay? They want you to really focus your intention to what you would like to manifest, what things you would like to experience. I feel like your good karma here is that you are going to be stepping in more fully to your mission. This group feels extremely spiritual and extremely mission oriented. And while I do readings for um, high level beings in general, that's who's attracted to um, my readings out of this particular pick a card reading, this one is the most spiritually based. Okay. That's why they're asking you to focus your light and to have intention here. Um, because you have a message coming in. And I do also notice there's pairs here. All right, so this pair of unicorns and this beautiful yellow butterfly. So yellow butterfly may be something. I brought the unicorns out today because they're 12th dimensional beings, so high vibrational. I wanted them to bring in that high level karma, um, good karma for you. And notice the pair here with the peace dove and the unicorn, high, high vibrational. All right, so first and foremost, uh, be very clear about what your intention is, what your mission is, what you want, okay? This is surrendering your ego. And um, one of the ways that I like this is in the runes. It says, I will to will thy will. And that's talking about your higher self and source. So it's like surrendering the will of your little self and allowing your bigger self that is connected to everything um, take over the program, right? It's going to bring you higher level experiences. Let's look at what, uh, what other good karma is coming in for pile three here. We're gonna look at the spirit song tarot for pile three. This is beautiful, you guys. I feel like with this group, I feel like you were already spiritual leaders. Many of you may have already had a spiritually based career. Um, you know that you're on path here. Most of you guys are star seeds. Um, you know, knowing that Earth is not your first home or normal home, um, you're aware that you have a mission, okay? Uh, and if you weren't, you are about to be. But I feel like for the most part, you guys have already been at this for quite some time. And you're, um, you're moving into next level energy that's really beautiful. I do feel like for some of you, there is a um, high level partnership coming in because they keep showing me these two, this unicorn pair under this... Um, you know, garland here, which reminds me of a wedding. Okay, so for some of you, if you're single, or if you've been dealing with a um, divine flame and have been in separation or something, it feels like that this is going to be coming together, that this is your good karma, because you have done the work in the higher realms. And it's going to be good for you to have um, 
have this new energy in. Alright, and one more. Beautiful. Okay, so we have awakening with the peacock here. This is uh, renewal and enlightenment. So this is the whole theme of your reading here is that you are uh, your good karma is you're moving into a sense of renewal within yourself. Uh, you're also moving into uh, uh, enlightenment. This is the judgment card, right? This is the awakening. This is you moving on up that spiritual ladder. Uh, you're understanding and your feelings are going to increase and this is your good karma because you have what they're showing me is you have cleared like a dark night of the soul in the previous months coming up to this uh, some of you may have um, walked away from a lower level partnership some of you may have walked away from friends or frenemies that were pretending to be something to you but you've had the awakening, you've had the aha moments of what these energies are or were to you, and now you are getting the renewal that you deserve. It's your good karma, okay? You're also, what they're saying to me is you're also about to be recognized. So, um, and they just showed me like a YouTube channel like mine that's either a spiritual topics or uh tarot so that's not for everyone but it feels like you're about to be seen okay because a peacock what does it do it shows off some but it's because your light is meant to be seen so whatever your intention is or your goal it's important okay so whatever you've been working on whether that be the partnership whether it be a youtube channel whether it be they're showing me some people are excellent singers and that you might want to audition for uh, one of those shows or something. Okay, and these are very specific things, but they're just showing me different um, options. And they're saying, do it. Okay, set your intention, let your ego go, and go with the flow of your natural gifts. Okay, see, the thing is, is that our spiritual gifts feel like just us. Okay, and sometimes as they're, they're updating or coming in, it can feel weird um, or you go through like an awakening process especially when the kundalini energy in your spine awakens um, but that being said you know um, what is a gift to us like is what's most natural so I remember they're wanting me to talk story a little bit I remember when I asked my Hawaiian kahuna um i said i think my spiritual gifts have gone the trees aren't talking to me as loud anymore like i'd had these really extreme experiences when i first started coming to hawaii and it started everything got really quiet even my dreams and he said you haven't lost anything you've graduated and when you graduate they don't have to talk so loud to you anymore because you're the same vibration they are so you just know each other right and i think that's part of it right because spirit is quiet they don't put on uh, a big show as it were you know the like when you think of faith healers or people doing all this like uh, magic for attention and that this that and the other that's not that's ego where you're going is to the graduation of your spirit okay um in your spiritual gifts and so it's like you're integrating in such a way they're showing me that um part of your good karma is that now this is just part of who you are okay um rather than feeling like you have to learn all of these things or integrate all these processes all right we have dedication and progress the eight of crystals all right, this is that you are mastering um, something at this time, okay? And this is mastering spiritually. It also feels like um, with this dedication and progress, if this is involves a relationship that you are um, bringing in or intending to come into union with, you 
you're being gifted with dedication and you're being gifted with progress. So you're going to be seeing some changes here in this. Okay. Oh, sorry. My dog was just uh, chewing loud. If you can hear that, I apologize. I really feel like your your spiritual gift here, your your good karma, is that you're coming into mastery and you're about to be recognized not only for your spiritual gift but for the work that you do in the world for who you are as a partner we have king of acorns which is optimism and innovation some of you may be starting your own business some of you may be getting recognized at work like i said um you're very innovative a part of this uh good karma that's coming in i feel like your ancestors are going to help you with inspired ideas because remember, it was like said, focus on your light and listen for a message. The message here is optimization and innovation. So they are absolutely, your team is going to be talking to you. And notice that this is a horse and then it's the unicorn. Okay. So this 12th dimensional being is going to give messages to its like horse powered self. All right same same we can see the horses in the third dimension this is their this is their brethren right uh, in the other dimensions this is the ascended version of the horse so you are going to be talking to your higher self which is going the ascended version of yourself and it's going to lead you to innovative ideas um, and optimism Things are looking up. This is your good karma. We have the five of crystals, which is the five of pentacles, and it's persistence and new possibilities. We have the ladybug. Ladybugs are good luck. So you're about to have good luck in multiple areas, and it's coming from your persistence. All right. They are asking you to take new opportunities because you have already stepped through the threshold. So release your ego, look at the new possibilities because there's like, if we get stuck on say one certain idea or one certain person that we think has to be our match or what have you, we may miss out on the new possibilities that are presenting themselves. And what spirits wanting you to realize we have a five here that change is the only constant in the universe. And because you've made the changes, you've already graduated up to this good luck. Ladybugs may be a sign for you, okay? But they're asking you to, to broaden your vision um, because you have a lot of good things coming in, but if we're focused on just one person or one particular sector, we can miss out a little bit. We have two of feathers, which is decisions and direction. This is um, part of your good karma is you are going to start to be very decisive and you're going to know which direction to, to take where I feel like with this group, because you have so many spiritual inputs coming in, sometimes it's been easy for you to be indecisive previously. And part of your good karma is that you've decided somewhere in your being that you're going to choose the path of joy. And you're going to choose the path of blessings and you're going to move forward from that. And because you have started with that particular decision, you're now going to um, know which direction to take. You're going to be very decisive. And what's coming in for you for good karma is the four of acorns here and it's comfort and community. You've built an excellent foundation. For some of you, this is a new spiritual community. If you're into that type of thing, many of you, this will be new friends that come around. Um, this also, if you want partnership, um, this is going to be, uh, you'll meet them through community. I feel like through friendship. Um, it's like friends first, and this is your good karma. You're going to start to feel more comfortable in your life after a period of challenge and growth. Okay, um, so they're acknowledging, especially we have the tiger here in the roaring position. And if you're watching this when it's posted, we are in year of the tiger. So you've had quite a bit of challenge and growth this year already. Okay, and we're just halfway through. 
And so you're gonna continue to have that growth, but it's gonna come in easier now. It's gonna come in through comfort, through community. And then we have High Priestess here as your outcome. And this is intuition and sacred knowledge. You are absolutely moving into your High Priestess position. For this group, your good karma is that now you can be this priest or priestess in the world and you get paid for it. We have the emperor. All right. Look at the little cougar here in a different position. And this is focus and stability. You have money coming in and you have money coming in from spiritual pursuits, from being yourself. That is your karmic good blessing. You have helped so many people for free or is what they're saying you have been there for others you have spiritually enlightened others and some of you have never had a dime uh, received for that but now it's like you're going to have the true energetic exchange and uh, sometimes the only thing that the other person has to give is money okay because they don't have the spiritual knowledge that you do to help others to heal or grow or get through their challenges and so this is why you're um, a keeper of this knowledge this sacred knowledge and it is increasing and it's your karmic blessing to do that but you're also going to get the comfort and the community and this is four of pentacles you're going to get money coming in that helps to stabilize you financially as well because you're not supposed to just be here um, struggling, okay? So really beautiful. You guys are waking up hugely and it's your good karma that's putting you into a position of spiritual leadership. Um, let me get a sacred destiny card to close out the reading. What's the good karma coming in for pile three? I love this group. You guys are quite enlightened. So please do um, open yourself to uh, receiving your blessings. Yep, we have openness here. Full moon. So full moon may have something to do for you. That looks like Capricorn up there. Yeah, okay. And then we have going forward. So you're going to move forward now after a time and look, it, it's the sun and moon here. Be open to going forward. All right. Be open to your intuition and move forward on your path here. It is your good karma to walk the golden path, to walk by the light of the stars. Okay. To be enlightened. Um, there's so much light in your reading and it's important for you to move forward into the future with joy in your heart with um, the knowing that you are a highly spiritual being and you will have someone to walk the path with you you'll have many to walk the path with you actually um, you're going from solitary to um, to having a whole community around you who's empowering and enlightened as well okay so be open to the new opportunities coming in that's where you're surrendering the ego it's allowing yourself to be open to the new that's coming okay because you are moving up in the octave so your whole uh, life may be uh, changing for the positive but at first you know when we're growing and we're getting this good karma coming in uh, it still looks like change there's still decisions to be made and they're saying that you know how to make your decisions well now and um it's so what they're saying is to focus your intention because that's what you'll get okay uh you are moving into a position of manifesting at extreme speeds and you are rapidly moving into your spiritual empowerment as a spiritual leader um, and so this is where you let the ego go, not go. The ego is the servant, right? It's there for a purpose, uh, but you surrender it to your higher will. Okay. I'm loving this. And this is your good karma that you finally get recognized for the being that you are in the high vibrational being that you are, and that you're able to publicly, um, be this being where I feel like some of you, 
may have grown up religiously or grown up in a way that you weren't really able to express all that you were feeling, all that you knew galactically, and now you're going to be able to express that openly. And it's really beautiful energy. And it does feel like you have a partner coming in to walk that path with you. So thank you so much. This is your good karma. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you who would like to enter the drawing, remember it's free to enter, free to win. Something's like in my eye all of a sudden. Okay. How you do it is you be a subscriber if you're not already. So subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video. And then in the comment section below, sorry about my eye. In the comment section below, right, I am open to my blessings. I am open to my blessings. And this lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. <coughs> Excuse me. I will do that on video the first of the month and announce the winner. And hopefully it is you. So until next time, aloha.